culture, movement. Let's get into it. The main event that we're not going to cover because it happens on a Monday because both our teams are not in the Champions League. But guess what? I'm doing a watch along for that. We Yo, yeah. take over. Yeah. So make go. sure you're Basically, here Monday night. We'll be doing a watch along with Alex be. as well. He'll be here as well. Yes. But yeah, we'll, FCM take over watch along. We will be there. We're going head to head, baby. Listen, man. Pause. I'll see you. At WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about this game, man. I feel that this game has the the ability to be a big game for different reasons. I think ultimately Definitely. for Chelsea, it could be a game that sort of showcases where you could go. And I think for Spurs, Spurs are at a moment where we have this conversation all the time where we're saying that <coughs> it's not a title challenge. It's not a title challenge. But beating a rival on another quote unquote top team yeah. and sort of extending this sort of cushion you've got is, you know, it's always positive news. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling for that game? I'll be real with you. I'm feeling confident. Um, kind of looking at how the season's gone we've had a few tests I think we've seen this team's character kind of tested a few times but for me the foundations of how we play just kind of give me that kind of confidence we've seen it kind of Liverpool when they were down to 10 men and 9 men they still look like the better side against us but that bit of character to see out to the end United first half they were better than us second half to come back and turn it around Arsenal going away still sticking to your principles uh, we might not have won but we're leaving with some type of thing so for me it's like I'm looking at Chelsea like you guys still haven't found your hunting teeth, if you like, this mm. season. You don't know how to go out and kill your opponents. Mm. Coming into our ground, I think Pochettino's first game back. So it's going to be a, a crazy atmosphere, in my opinion. So I think that definitely helps the squad. I think uh, the only injuries we've got is kind of destiny. So it should be kind of like a familiar lineup, if I'm honest. Mm. So for me, I'm, I'm expecting us to kind of continue the form and the kind of style we've been playing. And I'm like, if anything, we need to... Was it last year? I think we won 2 0 at our ground. Skip yeah. little scream Skip, on the edge screamer, of the box yeah. with a crossbar yeah. and in. Yeah. So I'm like, we need to kind of replicate that kind of dog fight very early on in the mm. first 20 minutes, set the tempo, make this kind of into you're coming into our territory and make it uncomfortable for Chelsea, man. Because yep. I don't think Chelsea are going to be confident coming here. And the Chelsea Spurs games have always been kind of dog fights mm. over the past couple of years. So you lot, I don't know if you lot it's are. Time to are yeah, yeah, 8 p.m. Monday night. It could be one of them games, think, you know. It could be. It could be one of them games. If, if we look but at the Arsenal is, game. Do you, like, let me ask you, do you look at your Chelsea players and think they're up for a fight? I think the Arsenal they game definitely showed me. Yeah. They, they showed did against, fight for against mm, Arsenal. They against did. Liverpool. Korea weren't letting Saka do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think, I I think if anything, <laughs> I think if anything, that's the one thing that I can probably say about this team. When it comes to the Liverpool game, first game of the season, yes, it was ended how it ended but yeah. character in a big game Arsenal game the experience and sort of the killer instincts wasn't there but same thing we're going to get in your faces we're going to get these goals I'm going to try and hold on oh, that's what I'm worried for about the fight that's what oh, you <laughs> boys up for the fight <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about what are you talking about what fights have you guys overcome bro Man, hey, wait, you see how we the wait, narrative wait, right wait, I love this wait, wait, you're coming to my house me yeah come get your chain back <laughs> laying down the ball <laughs> what <laughs> fight have you overcome bro that's what been in no stress said come get your chain back what chain <laughs> your chain's on lease Bro. <laughs> Wait, imagine, uh, are you ready for the fight? No, nah, what I'm, fight have Spurs I'm overcome, this bro? You just been winning game pretty back. in that. Listen, that's what I'm saying. We have been winning pretty, but this is you coming into our home ground. This but that's is why it's his first game back. Think, that's why. Are your it. players? ready to that's turn what, this into I think a scrap. Because the last why. couple of seasons, that's how it's been. Mm. I look at them Chelsea players, I don't know if they really got the I, character. I think look it's going to be a good one. Mm, I don't know. Mm. Sterling, mm. Nico. Mm. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm looking at them. Wait, who's playing left back? What, Kukurea? No, for you, man. What? Uh, yeah. Ben Davies. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that who you're going to war with? So, so we have a sticky one still. <laughs> no, in, in all seriousness, I think it, it has all the potential to be a really cagey game. But I think going on beyond the game, I think it's a game where Chelsea don't want to lose or have a similar thing to the Arsenal thing because then it becomes a mentality. But with the Spurs, right? Spurs in the situation where you win that game as a cushion, going towards December, and I want to bring us back to a point we mentioned at the beginning of the show. You mentioned Arteta last season, being mm. in January and not capitalising on the moment. Mm. Let's say you were to win this game yeah. and you get through December easily and whatnot. You have a situation where Son goes away for a month and you're in a where position- Where the hell is Son going? Asian Cup. Asian Cup. And they're probably going to They've win timed it the same time as AFCON. They've, they've, yeah. When did this start happening? Yeah, man, new trends. <laughs> yeah. Following an fashion. Asian Cup. When did that happen, bro? Yeah. What? And then, Who um, plays in that? The Asian teams. Yeah, but what teams? I've never right. heard of it. What teams? Australia, South Korea, Australia, Australia, Japan, Japan, all of them. Australia. Saudi Arabia. Asian, you 
Um, <laughs> so, so with that, you have a situation where, yeah, no. similar to Arsenal, you could be in a position where ultimately we could capitalize. Yeah. Not that you're going to win the league, but no, one there's a bit of space. Like, we could do something. Bro, you what would you like to see from Spurs if you get to that position? A left winger and additions to the defense and midfield. Like we need numbers because I think that's the thing where everybody keeps looking at Spurs and saying, this thing gonna come to an end eventually because all it takes is an injury to Madison. Mm. Udogi, as you say, he's out this weekend. Mm. You saw my reaction with the replacement. <laughs> Romero, Van der Ven go down injured. It's a, it's an Eric Dyer stepping in. It's mm. like the drop off in quality with some of those. Like a Madison goes down, it's a Celso coming in. Mm. It's night and day, bro. Mm. So that's where even Spurs fans, we know, bro, our 11, that's all we've got. Outside of that, we have to strengthen. And in my opinion, we're stupid if we don't strengthen. Mm. Regardless of title challenge or not, we have strength. This is Ange is going to be his second window. Mm. You've given him a summer of, okay, we're going to give us your guys. We'll get them for you. Brennan Johnson, you want him? We'll get him. Now do the same in January, especially mm. considering he's now given you the foundations of a solid season. He's shown you what you can implement so early. Mm. You're stupid if you don't back the manager. And especially... We're going to be in around there come Christmas yes, time or whatever. Yeah. Add strength, secure that Champions League spot. And then, you know what I'm saying? All right, but, could... all right. Who's winning this game though? Are you confident? Chelsea win. Chelsea, Chelsea win. 2-1. Yeah? 2-1 Chelsea. Who's getting me the winner, mate? Who's getting you the winner? Raheem the dream. <laughs> you don't believe that. Who's winning? You don't believe that. <laughs> Who's winning? 2-0. I've already made my prediction. 2 0. I'm sick to it. Clean sheet. Mm. We're going as well. Van der Ven. Hunting down Nico that, Jackson. That, that, that Bermuda Triangle of Van der Ven, Vicario, and Romero. Mm. Nico Jackson don't want to get lost in there, boy. <laughs> he said it's Nico. Come down, he Tottenham, Nico, boy. We're going to take you down farm ways. Mm. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Like you ain't been up no, boy. <laughs> <laughs> listen, like we said, Monday, watch along. Make sure you tune in on DR Sports. It's going to be an SEM take. And so we take you out of the room, man. Listen, man. man. Dog! Where's the podcast this? Where's the podcast that? Shh. We're coming. Culture can. Cold hero. Boy again! Your boy Maiwa, host of the most King of London. Kings of London, hi! We're the only ones in Europe. Fuad Kadani, podcasting Pepe. Football, culture, movement. <laughs>